It's about 70 people have lost their lives. 22 others are injured. Eight persons are missing. 24,000 households have people displaced, equivalent to about 120,000 people. And in totality, 131,000 people are affected. We have also asked the National Treasury to give priority to counties that have been affected so that they can access funds owed to them for the purposes of emergencies. And again, even where you have exhausted the funds, the Governor Sakaja, you can still reallocate within your own space because at the end of it all, all that money that you have is for the people of Nairobi. And if they are dead and carried by water, there will be nobody to enjoy those services. And I think the food bridge is the one Governor Sakaja has talked about. I have told uh, the CS Murkomen, uh, you mobilize contractors who are working for Kura uh, to make sure those food bridges are restored. We are going to provide funds uh, from the National Treasury so that we make sure children are able to go to school. I think that is something we need to do right away. So I want to request uh, our partners to give non-food items in terms of blankets, in terms of dignity parks, in terms of food and any other uh, items that you may have for the people of Nairobi. Yesterday we did agree that the National Youth Service will create temporary camps for those people and we want to ask our partners to channel food and non-food items to those people who will be in those camps. And I think once we do that, we'll be able to make a lot of good progress.